Welcome to the Jones Center here in Springdale, Arkansas, where your Arkansas Razorbacks get set to take on the Kansas University Jayhawks. Alongside me is Matt Martins, Corey Porter. My name's EJ Sanders. As we get ready to get started here at the Jones Center, Corey, Arkansas is looking to put a cap on the weekend series. Arkansas, meanwhile, is going to start in goal. Sam Haynes, the Dallas, Texas native, 1.82 goals against the average of 921 save percentage. And on the other end, it's going to be Mitch Miles, the Littleton, Colorado native with a 7.37 goals against average and an 845 save percentage. We'll pause for a minute here for the start of the National Anthem. Arkansas Razorbacks are capping off a home series and a home season here against the Kansas Jayhawks. Again, alongside me, Matt Martins, Corey Porter, EJ Sanders. Corey, you're a little bit out of breath, and hopefully Arkansas is able to take care of a team that might be out of breath tonight. Yeah, I think so. We saw it last night with this Kansas team being a little bit shorthanded. Uh, we'll probably see much more of the same today. Arkansas has got a full bench over there. They like to play fast and really try to keep up. A lot of offensive zone pressure, so this goaltender, Mitch Miles, is going to see a, a number of shots tonight, and you know he's going to want to stop more than he did last night, giving up 11 goals, but uh, we'll see how they fare today in this weekend series. They're going to come, around, come out firing. Last night's score does not matter. We are 0-0 at the start of this one, and Kansas is wanting to come away with a win. Their only wins, I believe, are on the road this season, so I guess that plays well into their plans to come away with a victory today. Well, the Maka playoffs right around the corner, a little bit of a warm up for both of these teams to get tuned up for those games in St. Louis. Center ice face off, getting ready to go here. It's going to be Arkansas's Griffin Sukasawara against Jackson Reed. Jackson Reed with an assist this season coming into the weekend. Sukasawara, been over, ready to go. And the opening faceoffs one back to Deskier. Near side now, McAtee, Arkansas is loading up on their first possession. This is Deskier in his own zone now, back below the, his own goal line. Finds McAtee on the near side. McAtee trying to work it out of the zone. Gets his stick lifted there. Sugasawara trying to skate it up the near side of the ice. It's taken off of his stick and so sends it back into the zone. Chasing after it now is Deskier. Stopping move behind the net. Back pass finds McAtee. McAtee on the puck. Near side now finds Wilson. Wilson looking for the outlet pass. Just chips one into the Kansas zone. Chopped at there by Brown comes to the near side boards. Arkansas trying to work it along, and a big hit in the corner there by Chevellis. Arkansas comes away with the puck. Estrada, tap pass, finds his man out front and whistles a shot wide. That was McAtee. Far side, now not able to hold the lines. Deskier just dumps it back in, ducking out of the way of that Sugasawara, and Arkansas will get a change. 50 seconds gone in the first period. Arkansas trying to regain possession in the neutral zone, and they do. The Jayhawks now on the puck. It's going to be Brown. Brown skating up center ice. He's got a man in his hip pocket. That's Ellis who shoves him out of the way right at the red line. Puck batted along there by the Jayhawks. Arkansas, a back pass, finds Odeline to McAtee on the near side now. McAtee up the near side boards, works it into the zone, gets knocked off the puck there by Dussault, sends it hard around the boards far side. Ellis on the puck now, chips a puck into the corner as he absorbs a check. Near side now, it's going to be McLean. McLean down in the corner. The blind spot, if you will, as Arkansas is trying to dig it out of there. Skating quickly past him, though, is Gerber. Gerber with a head of steam into the zone. Fires a shot. Kick save. Rebound there. And he goes crashing hard into the boards. Still down on all fours is Gerber. And he'll have a chance to catch his breath as the puck goes up and out of play. A minute and a half gone here in the first. Yeah, physical play early from the Jayhawks. A hit down in the corner. And their own defensive zone leads to a, 
A uh, break coming the other way and a nice shot there from Chevellis, but a good save by Haynes makes his first of the day and we'll get a face off to his right side, which is his glove catching side, that left-handed goaltender. Face off one back here by the Jayhawks. Morgan at the point, fires his shots, blocked up into the air and fielding that one in F8 for Sam Haynes. Nice little center field play, 18-22 to go, first period of action. Kansas with a little bit of action on this end of the ice. It felt like last night it just never got anything going, but now with the crowd in the building. Chevellis to take the face off. It's going to be one back by Arkansas. Odeline chips a end over end pass all the way to central ice, and McLean's chasing after. On his backhand, drop pass, finds Cruz, high slot. Centering pass to Ellis is saved. A nice save there by Mitch Miles. And he swallows it up to get the stoppage. One minute, 48 seconds gone. Good save there by Miles. Last night he wasn't giving up a whole lot of rebounds and repeats that early here in this game. Holds on to that one and gets the quick whistle. Face off will be to the right of Miles. It'll be our left side here. Arkansas skating from left to right tonight in their white uniforms with the black pants and the white socks. The red trimming, obviously. Meanwhile, the Rangers-esque uniforms that the Jayhawks wear. The cross logo coming across, the sash-like logo. It reads Kansas going down. The red, white, and blue sweaters with red pants and the blue socks. Controlling it in the corner, now that's Walsh. Walsh gets knocked off the puck there by McLean. McLean centering pass. Nobody home for Arkansas. That one's batted down the ice. No icing as Haynes comes out to paddle it down. Odeline on it now. Arkansas going off for a change as well. Near side boards Cruz. Stopping move. He gets blown up, though. A big hit by Chevellis. Arkansas on the puck. Still Patterson. Patterson battling for it. Sends it along the boards. Far side now Walsh. Cole Walsh looking to break out. Walsh makes a stopping move. Sorry, that's Ben Williams. Finds his way out of the zone. And now Chevellis is on the puck for the Jayhawks. Jayhawks with a little bit of pep in their step to start this game. Sent down into the zone and Rees is after it for Arkansas. Still not a ton of dangerous chances for either side. Kansas had the lone chance early. Arkansas out of the zone. Romero sends it down the ice and that's going to go down. And it's going to roll safely to a stop. Checked up to the goal line. Williams was able to touch it and Arkansas has pressure now. Borlas on the puck near side corner. Passes one off. Has his man Rees. A little tic-tac pass to Borlas. Back to Rees. Off a skate of defenseman. Picked up by Motor. His shot's blocked down in front. And another quick shot saved down there by Miles. Arkansas in the corner, now Motor on the puck. Motor looking for a pass out front, keeping his head up. Centers the puck, but stolen away in front there by Chevellis. He'll lift one high off the glass and down the ice. Chasing after it now is Gerber. Jack Gerber almost the first to the puck, but a nice stopping move in the corner to corral it there by Romero. Arkansas still on it. Outlet pass sent back to Romero instead. Below the goal line now with three and a half gone. Borlas. High off the glass, comes rattling along, wheels down into the zone, and now Motor's on it for Arkansas. In Kansas' zone, a centering pass is broken up nicely in front of the net there by Duceau. And back the other way come the Jayhawks. Head of steam, offensive zone, but just offside. Well, skating ahead into the zone there was Medina, and he's got a ton of speed. This whole team is actually rather speedy. It's just the, the depth right now that really kills Kansas. Yeah, I think the speed and then the shorter ice here at the Jones Center has led to a lot of offsides this weekend. Uh, Kansas gets their first one tonight, but had a number of them last night as well. Face off, one back here by KU. They'll send it into the zone. Haynes comes out of the zone to kick that one down. This one sent towards net and steered aside there by Haynes. Another shot towards net, blocked down. McAtee towards the blue line. Elliott played it with a high stick, but no call as it was touched up by a Kansas player. Having trouble with it in his own zone there is Morgan. Arkansas on the far side now shoved off the puck there by Luke Hansen. Luke Hansen. Can't come away with it. Valentini, a goal scorer last night, lays a big hit on in the corner. Far side now and another big hit, and that's going to be a roughing call on Deskier. Boy, Deskier's racking up the penalty minutes this weekend. And Scherer and Deskier team up for a massive hit. And that's going to send Jackson Reed to the bench. Doubled over. They're going to call a charge on Deskier. It'll be a power play for the Jayhawks. Kansas had a few power plays last night, unable to capitalize. Arkansas did come away with a power play goal. Kansas not able to, however. Base off to the left. Sugasawara to take it. Left side of Haynes, I should say. Arkansas on the puck. It's going to be stolen away quickly. 
Behind the net now is PK. PK on the puck. Bank pass back to the point has Dusso. Dusso back down. Stealing that one away is Chevelis. Chevelis back to the point. Dusso. Dusso to Chevelis. High circle now near side. Pass down low. Has a man there. That's PK. Sorry. That's Medina. Medina on the puck now. Now PK comes to help him out. PK around the board. Chevelis on it now. Outer hash near side. Back to the point. Dusso. Now high circle. Chevelis. He shot his glove down. Nice save there by Haynes. And we'll have another stoppage with a minute and a half left in the Diskier penalty. Good puck movement as we see the shot from Chevelis there. Good puck movement from Kansas on the power play. Face off will be to the right of Haynes. Wilson to take it. Face off one back. Kansas not able to handle it though, and it comes all the way down the ice. Sugasuar is going to pressure the puck out of the net to play its miles. It's laid off here. Nice little stopping move behind the net there by Brown. Finds a man near side, do so. Do so to work it out of the zone, back to Brown. Brown back behind the play, he's trying to send one ahead. It's stolen away momentarily there by Arkansas. Do so comes away with it. Bank pass into the zone, stolen away again there by, looks like Yance, and sent back down the ice. Chris Yance has really come into his own as a defenseman for Arkansas this year, converted forward. And he finds himself out there on the top penalty kill unit with Griffin Sugasawar and Zach Wilson, who have the puck now, two on one the other way. Wilson has Sugasawara across, and a quick shot is scored there on the shorthand by Sugasawara. My goodness. Just as I was about to say it, a good defensive play in the neutral zone by the Hogs, and they capitalized for the first goal of the game. Yeah, just the two on one. The defenders just a little bit behind the play as you see a nice pass from Wilson and Sugasawara. Not going to miss from there. Arkansas leads this one one to nothing early. A shorthanded goal at that. Yeah. Arkansas is known for getting a few of those from time to time, and they can make you pay for it. They are very aggressive on the penalty kill. They think that they are the better team, and they will take it to you. Definitely want to challenge your power play and see if you can capitalize. And if you don't, well, Arkansas makes you pay. McLean on the ice now, and he's stolen the puck away in the offensive zone, sends it back down to McAtee. McAtee on the puck now. McAtee turning move in the corner, sends one down towards Williams. Williams can't field it cleanly. It's finally laid off here for Walsh. Walsh far side, lays it into the zone, comes bounding along out of the net to play. It's Haynes. He settles it down momentarily. It's hard around the boards and out of the zone as Williams couldn't stop the puck. 12 seconds to go on the power play for KU. Picked up back behind the net now. Stopping move in the corner by Cole Walsh. Walsh pins it along the boards. McLean down there, and the penalty does expire. 13.36 to go, first period. Comes back to the near side now, Williams. Williams trying to work it out of the zone. McAtee can't chop at it. It's going to be picked up here by Lotz. He turns the puck over into the zone, comes Hanson. His shot is saved by Haynes and gloved down by Lotz. Lotz absorbs a big hit there from Hanson. Luke Hanson nails Lotz. He gets right back to his feet, and Ellis is going the other way with it. This is McAtee. He gets checked in the back. That's a tough check to take from behind on the back check from Luke Hansen, who's just throwing the body around right now. Hansen getting loaded up now by McLean. McLean instead opts for the puck. Sids one around a lot. Shot blocked down by his own man, Ellis, and it's flipped end over end back to center ice. Romero can't control it, and just offside is Gerber. Good chance there for Gerber. A dangerous play from Romero, a fluttering puck. Just tried to stop it with his stick, seeing Gerber streak past him. But unfortunately for the Jayhawks, Gerber just ahead of the play, crosses that blue line before the puck did. And we get another offside call on Kansas. One to nothing, Arkansas leading here in this first period. 12.56 to go in the first. Another packed house. I think everybody missed out on Saturday, Friday's game, wanted to make it out for a Saturday game. I'm sure most of these people have cabin fever after being stuck inside the last few days. And a quick shot from the corner finds the, finds the corner. My goodness, picked a corner there was Max PK. Well, we're talking about the weather, and Kansas does not mind. Yeah, just a sharp angled shot from the corner. Look at that, found away over the shoulder of Haynes. I don't know if Odeline got a piece of that in front. Yeah, it looked like Odeline oh, might have yeah. been trying to clear it away and just gets it stick side, that far side. And just like that, we are tied up at one. One to one, Arkansas facing some pressure from Kansas today, and Kansas does look like a different team. Again, they've only dressed a handful of skaters, a couple handfuls of skaters, 14 guys out there, and one goaltender makes 15. Borless on the puck. 
but they're going to try to give Arkansas a game. Chevelis on it now on the curling dot, sends it far side. Quick tack pass, finds Chevelis again. Hard into the zone. Here he comes. Tries a stick handling move, but a nice job there by Odeline to use the skate to knock it away. Two on one the other way. That's Borlas. Has Motor just onside. Motor skates in. Has a man back post. Couldn't get the backhand pass across. Borlas shoulders a man off. Now Patterson in the corner. It's picked up here by Dusso. Dusso shot. I'm sorry, not do so, but Motor's shot is blocked down. It's picked up here by Patterson. Patterson turns it over and back the other way come the Jayhawks. Yance on the puck now for Arkansas. Sends it back to Odeline near side. Odeline skates it out across the blue line, now the red line, and just turns it into the zone. Kansas on the puck now. They'll send it far side. Arkansas on a quick change. Elliott on the ice. Batted up into the air a couple of times there by Hanson. Hanson's had his name called a few times for reasons that are displeasurable to Arkansas plant fans. The Sharers got it right now. Far side, motor, bank pass, has a man, but is broken up there by Williams, sends it to the near side now, and looking to break out to do so. Comes back to center ice, picked up here by McAtee, not able to turn it past Gerber. Recollects the puck, and it's stolen away. Deskier turned it over, but a good job on the back check by Sharer. Sends the puck back to center ice. Valentini dumps it in, and Arkansas gives chase. Down into the corner, picked up here by Brown. Brown absorbs the check. Deskier not able to hold on to it again. Had trouble with the puck here early and already has a penalty as well. Jordan Deskier on it. Stopping move back to the point, finds McAtee. A little head fake there. He'll send it down along the boards into the zone. Valentini to field it there. Skitters past his stick, and he absorbs a check from Williams. Williams boots one along to the far side now. Arkansas trying to get on the puck. Scherer bats it along, finds his man in the corner looking for Valentini. He'll try to make a check there on Brown, but Brown's not able to... Collect the puck. Sitting back down the ice. Elliott near side now has McAtee. McAtee has a man streaking into the zone. Ops for it himself. Fires a shot blocked down in front. Rebound comes all the way out towards the Kansas bench. Far side now chipped along into the zone. Picked up there by Arkansas. Zach Wilson on it. Looking for a pass. Has a man on the through, through pass there. That's Sugasawara. Trying to stick handle in a phone booth, but it's taken away and blowing the tires. Rees, and here comes Chevelis. The head of steam. Rees gets back. Able to get back to his feet and back the other way comes Sugasawara. One to one. Arkansas had the first goal and Kansas answered and a quick shot there is saved. With 10.09 to go in the first period. Good back and forth action here. Both teams doing a good job of denying zone entry. Uh, Kansas breaking up a couple plays in front of their own net uh, before Sugasawara got away on that one. Got a nice shot away, but a good save by Miles. Keeps this a one-to-one -one game. Face off one back. Estrada on it now. Rees at the point at the high circle now. Sends one in front. Estrada tried to tip one. Rebound comes out front. Puck is loose. Estrada batting at it. Comes all the way back to Rees. Rees high point near side. Sends one far side. Banks off the boards there and a couple of players fighting for it there, including Connor Morgan. Arkansas on it again, a quick shot saved down. Just fought that one off. Romero down into the corner, stick down there by Morgan. Estrada gets it taken off of his stick there by Chevelis. It's stolen away again by Arkansas, high shot. Just missed the net. Down into the corner now, Walsh after it for KU. Back to the point, has his man thrown towards the net. No tip there, and the back post rebound goes off the side of the net. Picked up here by Estrada. Estrada, tough angled shots blocked down by Walsh. Arkansas boots it along in the corner. Quick pass there by Sugasuara to Rees. Rees, outer hash near side. Rees, below the goal line, finds Estrada. Estrada looking for a pass back to the point. There's Romero. Romero loads up a shot from distance and another save there by Miles. 9.05 to go first period and whiffing at that one's Romero. Second time he's had some stick trouble and a Awkward pass to the near side by Haynes, finds Wilson. Wilson to Romero, Romero across the blue line. Nice little head fake into the zone, but gets it stolen off his stick there by Adler. 8.51 to go. First period of action, one-to-one -one game. Odeline now retreating. Stopping, moving the corner, absorbs a hit there from Hansen. Hansen's been throwing the body here early. Picked up here by Adler. His shot's blocked down nicely in front by Ellis. Ellis to Romero. Backhand pass finds his man behind the net, Odeline. Far side now, and Arkansas is not able to corral that puck. Eight and a half to go, first period. After it now is Brown. Max Brown absorbs a huge check there from Arkansas. Gets the better of his man, though, as this one's tipped up into the zone. Haynes comes out to play it. He'll glove it down and smother it up, and we'll have another stoppage here in the first. Arkansas leading in the shot category, 7-5, to five, but we do have a 1-1 one one score. Kansas able to... Equal it at one with a shot from the corner that looks like Dylan Odeline may have tipped. Faceoff will come to the left of Haynes. One back here by KU. 
The back to the neutral zone is Brown. Brown sends one ahead. Arkansas has time to clear this puck out as they get reset. Quick tic-tac passing here by the Hogs. Finds its way back to Odeline, who started that trend. Near side now finds Cruz. Cruz looking to break out of the zone. Backhand high off the glass down the ice, and that's going to go down for an icing. Took an awkward bounce off the glass and shot itself forward. 7.58 to go, first period of action. Arkansas has been the better team most of this weekend, and I would say most periods, but I'd say KU has been the better team in this period. Yeah, I think so, especially with Chevelis out there. Really provides a spark for this Jayhawks team. You'll see them taking the face off here against Ellis. Definitely going to be some discussions in the locker room at the intermission, depending on how this period ends. Arkansas has got to pick it up. This is Ellis on the puck, high circle. Ellis spins the shot towards the nets, fired wide, hits the linesman, and then lifts out into the penalty Ooh. box area. Boy, volunteer work over there almost uh, turned a little bit hazardous. Yeah, thankfully we have this safety net up here, and that never happens to us. But it's a blessing and a curse. Sure, sure. That one whizzed by a couple of heads in the scores box as well as the penalty box. I'm sure our fans enjoy the nice impeded view of the game. As McAtee's on the puck now. McAtee, near side, fires a shot. It's tipped up and over the net. It was Dussel, and this one's sent all the way down the ice, and after it's Medina. Lance Medina on the puck, sends a tough angled shot towards net. Worked earlier, didn't work this time. Sent to the near side now. Chevelis along the boards, has PK in the corner. PK the goal scorer today. Centering pass, puck loose out front. Shot saved there by Haynes. Picked up by Patterson, far side. Looking for the outlet pass, just missed the stick of Motor. 7.14 to go in the period. Motor corrals it. Not able to get the pass off to Patterson, who overskates the puck. Near side now. It's top, popped up into the air there by Chevelis. Patterson on it again. Stick handling move to the far side, avoids a check, and sent back into the zone. Williams on it now for KU. Near side now the Jayhawks looking to break in. McAtee not able to steal it away. Patterson on it now for the Hawks. Far side, Deskier, back pass, and Patterson wasn't ready for it. It's a turnover in the zone. Another centering pass comes trickling all the way to the blue line and out, and Williams will get it for the Jayhawks. 6.43 to go, first period. Williams on the puck, loses control of it. Borless hard checking into the corner now. Scrum for the puck, comes to the near side now. McAtee settles it down. McAtee, a turning move, able to play it just past Gerber. Gerber down here, he likes to play in the neutral zone. Doesn't play a ton of low in the zone defense. A lot of tapping on the boards down there as Scherer gets a tough angled shot off block down in front there by Chevelis. All over the ice is Chevelis as McAtee's stick handling almost costs him a turnover there and he'll turn it back to the neutral zone. McAtee still on it, though, into the high slot. McAtee, stick handling, pass one in front, sticked away, quick shot, saved there by Miles. Now McAtee again on it. Has Rees at the point, skating all around the zone with it, gets checked off the puck there by Adler. Now into the low slot, that's going to be Lotz. Slots back out to Rees. Rees loses control of it and back the other way. This is going to be Gerber. Gerber with a head of steam into the zone. He's had a few of these opportunities, and he gets checked hard into the boards, and that one, I think, took him out. That's twice that Gerber has skated hard and found his way into the short ice boards here at the Jones Center, this time into the door, and that door does not give. That yeah, looked like a good back check from Lotz. Pushes the body into the side, forcing him wide away from the goaltender, Haynes. He just goes crashing into the boards there. And Gerber's taking his time getting up. He looked like he went in feet first. It's never good. And they're going to open, open the door for the trainer to get in there and well, we've seen similar things happen here at the Jones Center coming to mind Trey Lowry's injury. It yeah. was on the other end of the ice, but a similar kind of occurrence. His happened against the post. They had to get him off. He ended up with a broken leg. Hopefully that is not the case tonight. For Jack Gerber, he's able to get off under his own power, it looks like. Yeah, a little he, bit hobbled. He, he did use that injured leg to, as a brace leg to stand up as well, so... Hopefully a good indicator. It's not a, a serious injury, but he's definitely being helped off the ice, and uh, we're hoping for the best for him. Uh, tough loss for Kansas, too. I mean, it's a one-to-one -one game, and, uh, I mean, I don't want to rank number one and number two players, but I'd, I'd put him number two on the ice from what we've seen this weekend behind Chevelis, really hustling a lot. Got a goal last night, uh, one of uh, Kansas's two goals, and uh, you know they're going to miss him, so we'll see who uh, who steps up for Kansas, if anybody, and uh, – Tries to continue the bid for this upset. Face off one back here by KU's Chevelis. And I would say you're right there, Corey. Chevelis has been kind of their top guy. 
He's a top-line centerman. But Gerber's been right there with him this weekend with plays that he's made. Just based on his speed alone, sent down the ice. No icing here. It's going to be picked up in the corner here by Brown. Back to the point. Romero settles it down for Arkansas. Throws one tipped in front. Suga Sawara. Boy, that thing came bounding up high, and the chopper was fielded there by the shortstop. That's one that goes down as a hit in Major League Baseball, only for how hard it was to field. Rees on the puck. Near side now Romero. Romero up the ice, tipped into the zone there by Estrada. Miles comes out to play it, getting charged hard there by Suga Sawara. Quick pass in front, nobody there. Nice break up there by Kansas. Romero on the puck now, under five to play, first period, one to one. Kansas without Gerber, stick lift opportunity, shot wide there by Suga Sawara. Already kind of had a highlight real goal today. He's had a few in his career. This one's picked up by Lotz, trying to wrap it around on the far side, goes off the post. On the far side, that was Estrada. Chopped that again by Rees. Picked up here by Chevelis. Batted along near side boards Medina. Medina absorbs a hit there from Romero, and they'll have to regroup. On the puck again, that's Brown. Laid along now by Cruz for Arkansas. And he gets run over in the corner. Ref didn't see that one. Cruz lost control of his stick, and it's on the Kansas bench. And they toss it out. Good sportsmanship there. Yeah, he could have kept that for the rest of the game. I have no clue where his stick went. Honest. Four minutes to go here in the first period. Picked up behind the net now by Brown. Brown tries to lay it along, but Odeline steals it away at the point. Odeline down low. Now a little give and go pass. Odeline shot goes wide. Man, that one looked good. Yance on it now for Arkansas. Yance, a converted forward to defenseman. On the puck. Yachts skating around to the low slot, now to the high slot. Sends a pass back door, has a man shot in front. Rebound there, comes across and couldn't put it home was McLean. Trevor McLean all over the puck still, boots it to a stick, has a man back post. Ellis' shot is whipped wide. Picked up there by Walsh. He'll bat one off the boards. Arkansas holds it in the zone, and that one's tipped up and out of play. A few opportunities for the Razorbacks, and they all go begging. Yeah, it looked like Walsh got a block on one of those shots down low, too, into his skates, and uh, Miles had lost his stick for a good bit of that and was just doing a good job going back post to post, and Arkansas unable to get it out front, and they finally get a shot away, but by that time, Miles had regained control of his stick. Puck to flex, goes up and out of play, and we'll reset. 3.22 to go, first period of action. Patterson to take the face off here. It's going to be one back by Borlas to Motor now. Borlas, centering pass out front, quick shot saved by Miles. Puck still loose in the low slot, now finally comes free. Back towards center ice. On the puck now is Reek. Sent back to the near side, though, for Arkansas. They regain control, stolen away there by Chevelis, and now Odeline. Batting it back and forth, both teams, and now Motor's going to chase after it on the far side with Williams. Williams up the boards. Line's been getting caught up in the play. And in the fury of the game, the puck. Finally is settled down here by Arkansas. Motor on it to Yance. Yance has Odeline near side. Odeline loads up a shot. Nice save again by Miles. Sees it through the traffic. A good screen in front, but it's not enough to fool the goaltender. Yeah, Arkansas is doing a good job of getting bodies in front. Trevor Borlas right there in the way, but a good job by Miles to see that all the way in. Makes the save, and again, no rebound given up. And a big reason why this is a tie game. Absolutely, rebound control much better tonight from Miles. Arkansas on the puck in the corner. It's finally stolen away there by Duso. Duso tries to send a puck along. The puck comes free and comes out the far side. Adler chops at it, but Deskier settles it down. Deskier on it here. Has a man, throws one towards net, off the post. Elliott again fires a shot, saved down there by Miles. Another centering pass is saved by Miles. Rebound comes out front and no other shot was made as Miles was able to smother that one up. A flurry of saves there from Miles. Keeps the score one to one. Arkansas is making him work. 13 shots to Kansas' six. Kansas was leading five to three at one point, but Arkansas out shooting him uh, 10 to three since that point. And uh, Miles being forced to make a number of saves and doing, doing so. Base off will be to the right. Share to take it for Arkansas against Chevelis. Miles. Asked for a couple of moments there to regroup. After diving to the ice to smother that puck. Arkansas on it here momentarily. Chevelis chips it out of the zone, giving chase his PK. 
PK after the puck, on to Steer. And that's going to be an icing. That's a tough call there. There's a little battle for position as they got there, and maybe seeing one player slam into the boards and get injured already was enough, and referees decide to blow that a bit early, and Arkansas will benefit with an offensive zone faceoff. Yeah, your number one priority, especially at this level of hockey, has got to be to protect the players on the ice as the referee. And in that case, as the linesman. Cher and Chevelis. 2.06 to go, first period. Down below the goal line, Valentini on the puck for Arkansas. Comes to the near side, now picked up by Medina. Medina gets shoved off the puck there by Elliott. Puck on the near side boards. Arkansas trying to come away with it. Valentini's checked off of it, lays another hit on. Elliott comes away with it, has a man on the back door, and that was Scherer. Turning shot there is saved. Valentini chopping after it after the play. Doing some of the, his normal work down there. 146 to go in the first. Yeah, Scherer was set up right in front of the net and basically unchecked and just Arkansas unable to get the puck to him. They tried, but good defense from the Jayhawks to prevent that centering pass. Almost another hustle goal there from Valentini. We saw one of those last night. He made the play happen and ended up the beneficiary. of a talent. On the puck now, so After the faceoff, is turned over as Sugasawara takes a stick up high in front, no call. Near side now, McAtee steals the puck away. Switching spots with Wilson, covering for his defenseman. Boy, Wilson's better than anybody at doing that. Deskier near side now finds McAtee. It's stolen away there by Adler momentarily. But McAtee's on the puck. Below his own goal line now, Arkansas had a full retreat with a minute 23 to go in this first period. A one-to-one -one game. Much different story than last night. Arkansas went into the intermission up four to nothing. And it seemed like it wasn't much of a battle from there. Eventually going up seven to nothing before Kansas got two back and then finished the game off 11 to two. Chopped down into the corner. Arkansas on it again. Going to be McAtee lifted off the boards, back to center ice club, down and sent back in front. Now Sugasawara is on it with a minute to go. Adler in his hip pocket, sends it to the far side, tries to throw a shot towards the net, and Williams stands up. Sugasawara who absorbs the check. Picked up here by Wilson, chip pass in front, tried to bat it out of the air was Estrada. It's sent all the way down for an icing. Kansas was trying to get a change there, and looked like they just waited and waited, and that puck just trickled across that line. And by the time they were trying to hop the boards, the referee was keeping them on. Well, those are more crucial than to this team than almost any other we see come in here. That DBU team a couple years ago was a little bit shorthanded like this, and North Texas we've seen come in here shorthanded. It's tough. Those icings can really cost you late in the period as well. Cruz tries to win the faceoff. Doucet turns it up the ice. Arkansas holds the blue line. Romero chopping at it, sends it back below the goal line, picked up here by Dussault. Dussault avoids a check, makes a stick handling move around one, back to center ice, now 28 seconds to go in the period. Romero on it, sent to the near side, Cruz not able to handle it, picked up here by Chevelis. Chevelis back to center ice, 19 seconds to go in the period. On the puck now is Adler, Adler absorbs a hit, Chevelis on it again, 15 seconds to go. He tries to turn it into the zone and does. Jayhawks with possession here at the end of the period, turning move. Has a man at the point, tries to get it to do so. Can't quite do so, sends one back into the corner. It's going to be picked up here by Arkansas. One second to go, and it finally expires. And it's a one-to-one -one game. Good period there for Kansas. Uh, we said they had to come out and really try to take it to Arkansas, and, and they did. This isn't a case of Arkansas looking off their game, uh, looking slow and lethargic like they did at times last night. This is really Kansas playing right with this Arkansas team who's ranked number three in Division Three in the ACHA. And, uh, you know, we mentioned earlier Kansas wins on the road, uh, you know, so uh, trying to get their third win of the season and in a good position to do so against this tough Arkansas team. Kansas has been known to put up a flurry of goals on teams as well, even against this Arkansas team. I believe they scored five in both games that they played against the Hogs. 
uh, but unfortunately came up short in both of those efforts. So Arkansas has got to be careful. This is a team that can score in bunches. We'll see if they can do so in the second period. But for right now, I think Kansas, even the better team in that period, might be a Pyrrhic victory, though, as Jack Gerber has not returned to the ice just yet. We'll see if uh, we can get word on what happened and see if he'll be returning into this game. But uh, for right now, it's one-to-one -one going into this first intermission. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back with the second period here momentarily.
Welcome back to the Jones Center here in Springdale, Arkansas, where your Arkansas Razorbacks are currently tied with the Kansas Jayhawks. Alongside me is Matt Martins, Corey Porter. My name's E.J. Sanders. And, Corey, pretty good first period there from Kansas, and I would say the same for Arkansas. Arkansas's look good as well. It's just a battle of two teams that really want it today in the regular season closer for, for Arkansas. And heading into the Maca tournament, Kansas has really put on a good showing here. Yeah, they've uh, come out playing hard. They're playing physical. They're doing a good job on defense, keeping Arkansas from out in front of their net, uh, not create, not letting Arkansas create a lot of odd man rushes. And, uh, you know, on the offensive end, they're doing well. Uh, the one goal is kind of a fluky goal. It was thrown at the net from the corner, but you'll take those every single time. And uh, they're getting their chances as well. They had a couple odd man rushes last night. And, uh, you know, they're trying to create those again tonight with Chevella's breaking out uh, with a lot of speed. And uh, we mentioned earlier that Gerber, Jack Gerber, did go down in that first period, crashed hard into this left side boards and uh, really uh, had to be helped up off the ice with that lower leg injury on the right side. So maybe we'll see him back out there. But uh, the way they helped him off, I, I wouldn't anticipate that happening. Uh, Arkansas did pull away late with the shots, 13 to Kansas's six. Kansas did have a lead uh, at one point, but Arkansas has outshot them 10 to one since that point. So really putting the pressure on Mitch Miles, who is being forced to, to look good. I mean, he does look good, but Arkansas is putting a lot of shots his way, and he's making a lot of good saves, not giving up a lot of rebounds, and really keeping Kansas in this game. So really the key for them is to try to flip the ice and try to put pressure on this young goaltender on the other side for Arkansas, Sam Haynes. Well, we're seconds away here from the long change period, the second period here at the Jones Center at Joel Carver Ice Arena here. It's Dr. Joel Carver to you. That's what it, that's what it says on the side. That's what it says. Well, the buzzer sounds, and we're ready to go here in the second period. Both teams have their lineups on the ice. Arkansas going with the Ellis, Cruz, and McLean line. I imagine Chevelis's line will be on the ice here to start unless they're giving them a quick rest to start this period. They will. Oh, no, there's Chevellis. All right, he's out there. Chevellis and Medina, along with the goal scorer, Max Piquet, and so and Brown will be helming the back end. Odeline and Yance for Arkansas. Faceoff one back by Arkansas. Faceoffs this weekend have really been Kansas's forte. Able to create chances. The music's still playing over the loudspeaker, but the action has started on the ice. Chevellis on the puck now. Fires a quick shot blocked down by Odeline. Nice sliding block. Looks like the ice still a little bit wet out there. They don't necessarily give it the full amount of time it needs to freeze back over, but Arkansas sends it down. And they're going to blow that one for icing. I think they're trying to be safe. I think seeing an injury in the first period really has made these linesmen a little bit shy. And it looked like Ellis was going to beat his man to the puck. Dussel was kind of skating back rather uh, limply. Either way, it's an icing officially. Kind of like it was officially onside last night. So Arkansas loses this face off again. Kansas around the board. Chevellis after it there. Yonts on the puck, though, for Arkansas. Centering pass, dangerous area there by Yonts. Wrong end of the ice for that as Ellis absorbs a hit from Chevellis. Outlet pass is knocked down there in the corner. PK on it. PK sticked off the puck there by Yance and McLean will gather it in near side boards. Has to avoid a check there. Odeline a bank pass finds Cruz into the zone. Odd man rush. Back post pass shot is off the side of the net. The crowd went crazy because it looked like it was in. Cruz on it now. Backhanded opportunity out front. He gets tripped up. No call near side boards. Now Cruz back to the point finds Yance. Yance with a man on the change far side. That's McAtee coming onto the ice. Now Cruz. Cruz looking for McAtee. Loses control of the puck and just holds his man off while Arkansas gets a change. Near side now. Cruz onto the ice. Sends one into the boards on the near side. Hard around the boards. That one slapped the wood as it finds McAtee. High circle. Shot scores. Absorbs a hit there from Hansen. And Hansen this time doesn't get the better of it. And Cam McAtee's on the board. McAtee had just come out onto the ice. And he started this play from in the neutral zone. You see him there at the bottom of the screen. Comes in, steps in, takes a quick wrist shot. Cam McAtee. An All-American for a reason. Excellent offensive defenseman. And he just beats him high glove side. Just a snipe of a shot. And Arkansas takes the 2-1 to lead. Well, Hanson out there without a brother or two. 
Laying the wood on, though, has the right last name for it. Near side now, it's going to be picked up by Deskier. Arkansas on the puck again. A big run by Hanson, just missed the hit this time. Deskier loads one up, and that one sticked out of play there by Walsh. Good defensive play as a hog call goes off here at the Jones Center. One minute, 36 seconds gone, second period of action. Fans, in the description below, you'll see a GoFundMe link. If you would like to donate to our broadcast, we appreciate every penny that we get. We put it right back into the broadcast. So uh, if you're enjoying this and you would like to donate, click that link, uh, log in, and then maybe click the link again to see if it'll, it'll work. Apparently, we had some issues last night. So anything's appreciated. We appreciate your support as always. Near side now, Arkansas on the puck. It's going to be picked up by Wilson. He loses control of it. A battle for it on the near side boards. Scrum for the puck. Arkansas comes away with it momentarily. Now Walsh on it for KU. Wilson pinching down, slapped out of the air there by Estrada. Outlet pass, hits the stick of Adler. Arkansas takes it away. Sugasawara down low. Arkansas trying to keep the pressure on. It comes back to center ice. Picked up here by McAtee, and he'll dump it back in. Arkansas checks up the offside, near side. Now Sugasawara. Sugasawara has a centering pass to Wilson. Little tic-tac play. A wheeling pass in front. Nobody on the back post. It's McAtee now. McAtee, oh, lays a pass along, finds Sugasawara. Quick pass in front, Estrada, wrong stick hand for that. Estrada on it, below the goal line. Two to one, Arkansas leads. McAtee's goal, put him ahead. He's on the puck, sends one to Estrada, far side, near side circle. McAtee's shot's tipped aside by Adler. Arkansas on it again. Wilson, Sugasawara, tough angle, loses control, finds Estrada, now to Wilson. Arkansas with a lot of control right now, below the goal line. Sends one Estrada to Wilson, far side. Right past the referee, sends it to the point now, finds McAtee, who banks the pass off a defender, sends it to himself, tries to slap one towards net, finds Wilson instead. Estrada on it again. On his backhand, back to his forehand behind the cage. Matt, here comes Estrada, chips a puck in front, and that one was blocked down and snagged out of the air by Miles. Good control there from Arkansas, really working well below the goal line in tight quarters with Suka Sawara, Wilson, and Estrada, the top line for Arkansas for a reason, just not able to create that scoring chance, trying to get Kansas moving back and forth. They were able to do so, but Miles able to catch that one as it fluttered in the air. And Arkansas will get a line change and we'll get a face off to the left side of Miles. Chevellis to take it against Patterson. Patterson on the ice with Motor and Borlas. This line's kind of gelled together since coming together. Arkansas with Borlas and Motor. A lot of slapping on the boards down there. Fans getting into it. Motor on it. Chevellis. And Motor battling after the puck in the far side corner. Trying to dig it out of there's Williams for KU. Centering pass by Borlas, stolen away and lifted to the bench. Coach falls unfazed by the puck. Sixteen thirty-eight to go, second period of action. Two to one. Arkansas on it now, far side, it's chipped off the boards. It's going to be picked up here by Patterson, comes to the near side. Outlet pass. Romero to Motor, inlet pass now is going to be stolen away. Chevellis with a man on the back door, quick pass across and couldn't get it on goal. Puck still loose out front in the blue paint and sent down the ice by Arkansas. That's going to be an icing, but you'll take that over a goal yeah. any day of the week. Just a desperation icing. I don't think they actually got a shot away there. Sam Haynes was scrambling and a good job by the Arkansas defense clearing that out, but a two on one and the cross pass just couldn't be handled. Looked like it might've got stuck under his stick. Just couldn't get the shot away. Good chance there for Kansas. Unable to capitalize in this game. Remains an Arkansas lead. Face off to the right of Haynes. Back to the point. It's gonna be picked up here by Walsh. Walsh far side. As do so. Finds Rees. Rees down in the corner. Patterson picks it up for Arkansas. Looking to break out near side. Stolen away. Adler on Romero. Romero a turning move past Adler. Romero still on the puck on his backhand. Sheltering his man off the puck. Romero into the zone. Head of steam. Throws one towards net. Stick to side easily there by Miles. Borlas now in the corner. Borlas getting shoved along there, and it comes back to the near side boards. Picked up here by Romero. He'll try to knock one back along. Absorbs a big hit there from Adler. Arkansas on the puck. Valentini far side now. Chipped along there from Borlas. Borlas into the offensive zone. He's onside a delayed penalty here, and Arkansas will be on the power play. Yeah, it looked like he got up a little bit high on that hit. 
It's going to be an elbow call as Hanson will head to the box and Arkansas will head to the power play. Eventually those things kind of catch up to you if you're throwing the body quite a bit and Hanson's notably been the guy hitting on the ice today for either team. I think it was a good sell job by Patterson as well. But he definitely took one on the chin. Down below the goal line, Dusso hard off the boards. Arkansas setting up the power play. Ellis down low finds Sugasawara. At the point now, McAtee. McAtee settling it down, has Wilson and Sugasawara flanking him on either point. Far side now, Sugasawara. High circle, has Estrada. Estrada in front, tries to jam it home, and Miles makes the save. Yeah, Estrada gets it low below the goal line, tries to step out in front. And a good defensive play. Tying up that stick and a good job by the goaltender as well. Face off to the right of Miles. Sugasawara to take it against Chevelis. It's going to be one back here by Chevelis, but tied up quickly there was Brown. Arkansas on it. McAtee, one timer opportunity, doesn't quite slip through. Miles wasn't certain though. As Estrada fired one along the ice. Well, that thing never got more than an inch off the ice on its way through. Just trapped under the pads. It's a tough save for a goaltender. A quick one-timer from the point. Coming from your right to left. Chevelis kicks one back here on the tie-up. Arkansas after it in the corner, though, and Wilson comes away with it for the Hogs. Captain. Zach Wilson on the puck, back to the point, has McAtee. McAtee, Wilson, near side now, high circle. Wilson loads one up, and that one's banked wide. Sugusawara loses control of it, and Chevelle sends it clear. 1.16 to go in the penalty. Back behind the net, there's Haynes. Haynes leaves one there for McAtee, 14.43 to go, second period. Arkansas with the early tally in this period by this man right here. Cam McAtee, turning move, has a man at the point. A little bit of shift shuffling around here. Far side now finds Estrada. Estrada has two guys on the near side post. And they were standing open. But those passing lanes were closed off by Kansas. Far side now Estrada's shot blocked down. Nice job getting across there by Medina. Arkansas on it again as there's a stick on the ice. Medina does not have it. Arkansas has Estrada far side. Quick shot, gets through, but just wide of the post. Sugasawara still on it. Comes back below the goal line, Ellis now. Ellis chips one along the boards. Ellis has Sugasawara. Give and go pass. Ellis on the puck. Medina still without his stick. Back to the point. Diving after it. Chevelle as he's sold out, though. Arkansas has a man near side. Now back post. Sends it to Estrada, who shoots, and it's blocked down in front. Nice job by Connor Morgan. Arkansas on it again. Sugasawara on the far side. Without a stick is Medina. He's trying to shut him down. A quick shot's blocked down there by Chevelis. Arkansas. Comes away with the puck. Ellis, far side now. McAtee, six seconds to go in the power play. McAtee on the puck. Far side, near side now finds Will Wilson. Penalty expires. Arkansas not able to come away with a goal and just covering that one's up is Miles. Boy, Arkansas basically had a five on three and a half for about 40 seconds there after Medina lost his stick. Yeah, I think it was a block shot that hit the stick and one of his uh, defensive partners picked it up and handed it to him, but then he dropped it again, so it must have broken his stick on the shot and had to go the remainder of that penalty kill with no stick with Cameron McAtee in front of you. And McAtee made him pay for it, but Arkansas unable to get the goal and a good job by him for hanging in there. Face off one back, quick shot by Yance, a stick down in front, and Valentini couldn't tuck it five hole, and he just looked up to the sky in anguish. So close to getting another one this weekend. All the way down for an icing, and Arkansas will have an offensive zone face off. 13-15 to go second period. And boy, Valentini, he gets those gritty goals quite a bit. A lot of hustle plays for him to bat one into the net, and he almost tucked one five hole on Miles. Face off will come to the right of Miles. On the near side here, offensive zone for Arkansas. It's one back here to Yance. Yance throws one through traffic down into the corner. Valentini after it. He gets tripped up there by a falling defenseman. Scherer after it in the corner now, battling for the puck, comes to the near side. After it, now is Yants. Yants with a head of steam, skates it along the boards. Yants still on the puck. Yants below in the low slot. Finds Scherer out front, couldn't stick it down with Scherer. Comes to the near side now, Elliott. Elliott throws one towards the net. Nice save there by Miles. 12.52 to go, a big hit. Teaming up in the corner is Elliott. And Valentini, and they're after him again. Dusso was unhappy with that hit. It's another centering pass, another big hit on the near side by Hansen. 
Outlet pass is broken up there by Odeline. They aren't able to clear the offside. Arkansas trying to get back to the blue line. They do check it up, and they'll send one back into the zone. All the way down the ice, no icing here. Do so on the far side. Caleb do so. Backhand pass finds Walsh on the near side. Has a breakout pass if he wants it to Hanson. Sends it all the way down instead, and that goes wide of the goal for an icing. 12-18 to go in the second. Now this has been all Arkansas for the first half of this period. They do have the goal on the board to show as well as leading in the shots overall 20 to seven, but that puts them at seven to one here in the second period, putting the pressure on Mitch Miles. Face off to the left of Miles. Back and forth in the first period feels like a lot of pressure from Arkansas here in the second, like you were saying, Corey. Arkansas trying to continue that and get a couple more tallies on the board. Dussel comes away from the, with the puck. On his backhand, gets stick lifted in front. Ellis not able to come away with it. Comes free, goes all the way out to the center ice now as Williams has it. Williams centering pass to Chevellis, broken up there by Deskier. Turning move there by McAtee, back behind his own net. He makes a stopping move now. And Arkansas will send it up the near side. They're just out of reach of Cruz, and that'll be an icing. That's been a while since we've seen a faceoff down at this right side of the ice. And Kansas has fared well in the faceoff dot, so let's see what they can get going if they go in this faceoff. Looks like Chevellis is going to be out there to take it. Kansas in the royal blue and red. Arkansas in the cardinal and white today. Arkansas wins the faceoff back. It's McAtee again. He has two guys pinching him in back behind the post, but does a good job of holding on to the putt. Far side now. This is Cruz, backhand pass, looking for his man. I think a miscommunication there, and coming back forward against McAtee. McAtee regrouping, Chevellis pressuring him, and now coming down to help out to PK. PK, it's avoided there by McAtee. McAtee head of steam up the ice, tipped into the zone. McLean going the wrong way, though, wasn't ready for that pass as this one's chipped ahead, and Chevellis is onside and first to the puck. Now McAtee digs it out of the corner, tries the centering pass. PK slapping at it there and coming away with it. It's Cruz. Cruz to the near side. Finds his man. That's McLean. Makes a turning move up the ice. Couldn't quite get it past his man with the puck. On it, on it now is Cruz. Cruz back to the blue line. Deskier trying to pinch in on the play. Knocks it off of Chevellis and keeps it in the zone. There's going to be a hooking call. We'll see who they get for this. Might have been Deskier on the exit. Gonna get Cruz. It's Cruz or Deskier on the exit there. The Arkansas bench not happy with it. Well, now McAtee and McLean are yelling at each other. Cher are gonna come down and. I thought he was going to come sort it out, but instead he's going to come onto the ice. Yeah, Arkansas only had two players out there. And they'll turn a five on two into a five on four. A little better odds there. Face off one back here by the Jayhawks. Williams across finds Walsh. Walsh down low has a man. Stick handling in the corner. That's Adler back to the point. Walsh. Kansas setting up on the power play here. The Cruz Miner for hooking. Blocker save there, nice job by Haynes. Haynes and Reese have held it down in goal so far this weekend. Reese last night, Haynes tonight, comes all the way down now, paddled down by Miles. Arkansas on the PK, Walsh on the puck. 10.37 to go, second period. Walsh for the Jayhawks, looking to break out. Has Scherer to contend with, sends it to the far side towards the Arkansas bench. Blowing past the man there is Williams, it comes back to center ice, and after it there is Estrada. Estrada almost getting tripped up there by the Shoelaces of Walsh. Backhand pass to the near side. PK looking for Chevellis. Chevellis on the outlet. Gets caught up here, and Arkansas comes away with the puck. Only momentarily, though, is Estrada having a tough time handling it. Here comes Chevellis back the other way. McAtee, sorry, Yance on the ice now. Back to the high slot, trying to get through traffic. A quick shot there is fired wide. Medina not able to get that one on goal. Stick broken in the corner. Looks like another Kansas stick, and that's going to be the stick of Max PK. Arkansas on it again, Yance, backhand pass, stolen away easily there by Medina. Medina looking for a stretch pass up ice, instead skates it himself, Cross the blue line, offensive zone, Yance after it into the corner. Yance, little bank pass along, off the broken stick that's on the ice, and blows a tire in the corner, picked up here by Medina, his shot is saved. Nice job by Haynes, cutting down the angle, and Arkansas 
clings to the two to one lead. Yeah, slip and a fall led to a chance there for Kansas. But good positioning by Haynes as he makes a save and able to hold on for the whistle, no rebound given up. Kansas a couple shots on this power play so far. Face off to the right, it's gonna be Wilson to take it against Chevelis. Wilson gets the better of him this time and McAtee loads one up, sends one towards the blue line. It's held in there by Dussel. Arkansas on the puck, trying to send it back and Dussel sends it towards the near side. This is gonna be an offside if it's touched up and it is by KU. 9.21 to go, second period, 17 seconds left in the Cruz minor. Hopefully Arkansas has everything sorted out on their bench after a couple of players were getting after each other there. Feel like they should probably be performing better today and gets frustrating at times. Suga Suar to take the face up. It's one back here. He pokes one back to McAtoo, sends it down the ice. 13 seconds to go and then Cruz minor penalty do so on the puck. Jayhawks. Skating from left to right up the ice. They'll chip one into the zone and after it's McAtee. McAtee sends it hard around. On the ice now is going to be Cruz. Arkansas with a chance to create something here but it's stolen away by the Jayhawks. On the ice is Lots. Lots on the ice along with Wilson and Sugasawara. As Deskier loses control of the puck, it's gonna be McAtee on it now. Far side, bank pass towards the blue line. Stolen away and right out front, Adler's shot goes wide. Sloppy play by Arkansas on the breakout. Here in the latter stage of this period, 8.35 to go. Arkansas on it again. Got to check up and offside. Lots hustling to the blue line, does get on. As Wilson takes a stick up high, no call. Back to the near side. Out of the far side, McAtee on it. McAtee to McLean in the corner. I believe those were the two getting after each other on the bench as Sugasawara comes away with it momentarily. Looking for a centering pass, has a man at the point. That's Rees, Rees through the traffic block down in front. Nice job there by the skate of Hanson. McLean, Rees, high slot. Rees loads up another shot, it's blocked down in front by PK. Do so along the boards to the near side. Arkansas pressuring the puck still. Arkansas still on it on the near side. A scrum for it on the near side boards, lifted up into the air towards center ice. On it now is Ellis. Ellis has a man far side, Rees. Rees near side has McAtee. McAtee trying to skate into the zone himself, and he does. McAtee on the puck, gets slashed off of it, and that one comes trickling to the goaltender where he'll smother it up. It's tough when you try to skate it in yourself there, and McAtee unfortunately met the stick of a KU defender and was unable to get a quality chance. Yeah, good job on defense from Kansas. Better game than last night where they lost 11-2. to This one just a one-goal game just over halfway through it. Kansas lost Jack Gerber in the first period. He had a crash early in the period that he was able to get up from the second one. He crashed into the same, basically the same spot down here in the near side corner where the Zamboni doors are. And was unable to get up off uh, without some gingerness. Another icing here chasing after it was Jackson Reed. 7.23 to go, second period. Arkansas with a lot of the play here on this end of the ice does have the only goal of the period as well. But they are uh, finding it frustrating to find another. Yeah, shots this period are seven to three in favor of Arkansas. Kansas with two shots on the power play. Face off. One back and a huge hit by Odeline in the corner. Cruz with the puck, has a man back post, tries to slide it pass across. Quick shot there by McLean, doesn't go. McLean, another tough angled opportunity off the side of the net and diving after it is Miles, and he'll freeze the puck again. A good opportunity for the Hogs, and they can't capitalize. Yeah, there's the end of the McLean hit. Just a nice centering pass and a good job laying out on defense to break that up in the ensuing scramble. Finally covered up by Miles. Odeline ran a man over in the corner. Excellent opportunity for the Hogs here. Faceoff will come to the right of Miles. 7.09 to go, second period. On the puck is going to be Ellis. 
Take the face off. Face off one back now. McLean's quick shot whistles through the crease. It's going to be picked up here by Cruz. Another lost stick here trying to race after it's Morgan. Another centering pass as Cruz just bats it to the near side. Yance. Yance is shot. Knocked down by Adler. Getting in the shooting lanes are these Jayhawks. All the way down towards net. Haynes steps out, but Yance fields it. Yance on the puck. Left-handed stick near side. Yance loses control of it. Unimpeded. Cruz battling with a man. Sends it to the far side now. After it into the corner. Now picked up here by Morgan. His shot's blocked down. Another quick shot saved there by Haynes and good rebound control. To just smother it up. 6.31 to go in the second. Kansas flipping it to this end of the ice. Got a quick shot away. Saved by Haynes, but Kansas will get an offensive zone faceoff. Let's see what they can do with it. Bring Ellis back out onto the ice. They're going to put him in the box. Ellis and Adler go. I think these are just misconduct penalties. A little bit of chirping after the play. Looks like both guys go to the box. Are they really going to make this four on four? Okay, so coincidental minors instead. And that's going to result in full changes from both teams. Arkansas, the home team, gets to answer a change. Wilson, Sugasawara, McAtee, and Estrada on the ice against Brown and Chevelis. And a couple other Jayhawks out there as well. Looks like Dussel. Sugasawara, tough patch in the ice down there. That's twice we've seen a puck come off a stick of a player. Right there in that patch of ice below the curling dot. Arkansas able to corral it, and here comes McAtee. McAtee has Sugasawara on the near side. McAtee drawing two defenders, but makes a head fake around one. Back post pass, looking for Estrada. Now to Wilson. Arkansas treating this like a power play with three forwards and Cam McAtee on the ice. Cam McAtee, a pseudo forward. <laughs> Listed as a defenseman, but he really is uh, an all-around player. Outlet pass finds Chevelis. Chevelis trying to chip it into the zone, bat it out of the air. Chevelis on his backhand has to send it back towards the blue line. Dusso slaps at it. Arkansas takes it away. They got a two on one the other way. This is McAtee to Estrada. Tic tac pass scored. My goodness, an excellent play. All set up by the All American. They go crashing to the ice on the near side, and Arkansas celebrates a two goal lead. Take another look at that. Just starts. In the defensive zone, nice pass. And Estrada to McAtee, back to Estrada. And Arkansas extends their lead to two goals. Just snipe shot over the stick. Beats Mitch Miles. And Arkansas leads three to one. It's fun watching those three on the ice, Wilson, Sugasawara, and Estrada. If you ever need a goal, call them up. And they go straight to the bench and just take a seat on the pine like they've done it before. And they do it many times a game and hundreds of times a year, it feels like. Up the near side now, into the offensive zone comes Piquet. Piquet rattles one around the far side, near side now, Odeline. Odeline. Back across to Cruz. Cruz absorbs a check there from PK. PK in the corner, straddling a man. Finds Odeline. Near side now, 36 seconds to go. All the way up the ice. That one tipped by a Jayhawks player. Williams settles it down for the Jayhawks. KU on the puck. Sends one up the near side. Outlet pass. Nice little touch pass by Chevalis. A one on one for Williams, but he just couldn't catch up to it. A big hit at center ice. Stood up there by Morgan, Arkansas into the zone. Stick handling, near side, McLean not able to get a stick on it. Nice defensive play by Williams. Far side now, Odeline. Odeline around one, backhand pass, back post, shoving it home, nice block though there by Miles. Looked like McLean had an opportunity to get a goal. Chevelis the other way. Chevelis stood up, four on four is over. On the puck again. Back to the far side. Picked up here by Yance. Yance finds a man, nice drop pass. That's Cher. Share on the puck again. I haven't seen too much of Share today. 
but he's on the puck right now. Jake Scher on the puck. A delayed penalty for Arkansas here, or for Kansas, I should say. They're going to be going to the box. Down into the corner, off the ice. Arkansas has a centering pass. Yance to the high point. Quick pass and score. Arkansas will still get the power play. And it's 4-1. to one. Romero finishing off the opportunity in Arkansas. Leads 4-1. to one. As we see Haynes going to the bench for the delayed penalty. And Yance just calling for it. Unselfish play. Could have taken the shot. Instead, he sees Romero streaking towards the net as well. Chevelis is going to the box as well. Oh, my. ACHA rules a delayed penalty is not automatically called off on a six-on-five if the Coley leaves the net. Like, uh, like, you know, normal hockey. <laughs> There's a lot of rules that the ACHA has that we've had to learn over the years, but this is definitely one of the ones that I think is the worst. And KU will have to kill off a penalty after conceding a goal. 3.57, second period. Face off one back here by Arkansas. McAtee on the puck, Arkansas on a power play. They basically get two for the price of one after the goal by Romero. Near side boards, Estrada on it. 3.47 to go, second period. Full two minutes to Chevelis. Near side now, Estrada into the zone. Keeping his head up, looking to the back post, has Sugasawara skating there. Walsh pressuring the play to McAtee, wheels a shot in front, it's tapped high by Ellis. Sugasawara, Wilson, Wilson, low circle, near side now, has McAtee. McAtee, high slot, back post pass, looking for Sugasawara, couldn't get the stick on it. He absorbs the check, comes to the near side. Wilson settles it down. Back to the point, Estrada far side. Flanking McAtee. McAtee switches spots with Wilson. The captain Wilson fires a shot blocked down by Walsh. Now Estrada to McAtee. McAtee at the point. Trying to settle the puck down and does. Blows by Hanson, takes a couple of slashes, holds on to the puck. McAtee with a minute left in the penalty to Chevelis. Throws a shot towards net, blocked again by Walsh. Little confusion there. Estrada gets tied up with McAtee, but McAtee with the puck to Estrada. Back post pass, didn't have a man. It gets blocked again by Walsh. Boy, an iron man out there right now is Walsh. Back pass now, Estrada at the high slot, lays one off, another pass in front. Ellis's shot is lifted high. Two and a half to go in the period. 36 seconds left in the penalty. McAtee, puck on its edge, settles it down. McAtee throws one towards net. Nice kick saved by Miles. Wilson, near side corner. Tries to play it back along, Sugasawara battling for it. Couple of Jayhawks over now, back to the point. Finds Sugasawara, Sugasawara back pass Wilson. Wilson has a man back post, couldn't hit him. 16 seconds to go on the penalty. On it now is Ellis. Ellis changing places to the high slot with a head of steam, runs a man over. On it's McAtee, fakes the shot far side. Left there for Estrada who shot a stick high. Nice save by Miles and the penalty's gonna expire. McAtee on it, far side now, five on five. Estrada on the puck. Fins off a man, another block by Walsh. That's four on this possession by Walsh. Turning move, Estrada. A lot of tired legs and Walsh comes away. Sorry, that's going to be Chevelis. Chevelis out of the box. Chevelis, the only one with fresh legs out there. Blows by everybody but doesn't have any help. Kansas, tired, goes to the bench. That whole line, but all of a sudden, a two-on-one the other way. Here comes McAtee. McAtee with Wilson on the far side. Lays one off. Fires a shot. Nice save there by Miles. Defensively making that save. Boy, those are two guys you don't want to be see skating right at you. A two-on-one situation, but Miles handles it nicely. Yeah, the pass from McAtee. Right on the stick. Couldn't get the shot away right away. Being the right-handed stick that he is, and Wilson... Puts it right into the belly of Miles, who holds on for the whistle. An excellent save there. Face off one back here by Arkansas to the point. Quick shot there by Romero. Comes all the way down into the corner. Motor after it. 1.17 to go in the period. 4-1 to one, Arkansas leads. Rattled along to the far side. Just missed the stick of PK. Romero through the legs of the linesman and holds on to the puck. High circle in his defensive zone. Picked up here by Motor. Motor just plays it back on goal. Yance around the boards. PK absorbs a check from Borlas, and Arkansas is out with the puck. Romero off the skate of Patterson. Arkansas trying to work it back the other way, but it's punched ahead into the zone by PK. PK on the puck. 
Has a man on the drop pass, opts to take it himself. That's Fontenet on the near side. Haven't called his name much. Yance gets tripped up in the corner. Battle for the puck. Arkansas trying to come away with it. 40 seconds to go here in the second period. Yance finally coming away with his motor. Motor far side has Borlas, who just lost control of it. Lifted high into the air by Duso. Arkansas on it again. Here comes Yance one on two. He's got a couple of helpers coming behind him as a rebound and sputtering out front. 23 seconds to go in the period, and Miles able to hop on top of that one as there was no help on the back post. Yeah, the shot from Yance just couldn't quite be handled by Miles, but like you said, nobody there to clean it up. Miles able to jump on top of it and gets the whistle. Mitch Miles, much better game tonight. Get some help in front of him as well. To get these block shots, especially from Cole Walsh. He had an excellent possession. Odeline from the point throws a shot blocked by his own man in front, Valentini. Odeline not able to take that one off the stick of Chevelis. Chevelis skates it up the ice to the neutral zone, take it away now into the zone by Medina. Medina into the offensive zone on his backhand, has to make a turning move in the corner. Arkansas, nice block on the pass there by Scherer. Scherer upset, looked like he got hit in the head with a stick. Scherer able to get up though and Skate off the ice, and Arkansas ends this second period with a three-goal lead. Yeah, Arkansas really started to pour it on and just sustained pressure, out shooting Kansas 27 to 10 thus far. 14 shots in that period for Arkansas, just four shots for Kansas. A few more penalties from each team as well. But uh, it's been a clean game for the most part, and. I think Kansas is uh, missing Gerber. They were already shorthanded and uh, losing one of their better players as well is uh, taking a toll on them a little bit and really just not able to get the puck in the offensive zone and get any sustained pressure. Just uh, kind of one and done when they do get it down there. Uh, they were doing well in the faceoffs early, but every time I remember them getting a faceoff in the offensive zone, it was Arkansas coming away with a win and really uh, doing well on the breakout. Kansas defensively as well has been giving up uh, several odd man rushes. Uh, Cameron McAtee and Brad Estrada created a goal out of it, and uh, Mitch Miles just a few seconds ago was forced to make another save as McAtee and Wilson had another two-on-one. So some stuff to clean up on defense for Kansas, and uh, that'll go a long way towards getting them started going on offense as well. Yeah, absolutely. Well, we'll see what happens here in the third period coming up in about 12 minutes. Don't go anywhere. Your Arkansas Razorbacks lead by a score of 4-1. to one.
Welcome back to the Jones Center here in Springdale, Arkansas, where your Arkansas Razorbacks lead by a score of 4-1. to Alongside me today is our cameraman, Matt Martins, our producer and color commentator, Corey Porter, and your play-by-play -play guy, EJ Sanders. It was a great second period from the Hogs, hoping to continue that momentum here into the third, able to notch three goals and really uh, separate themselves from a Kansas team that has come out to play. And they've uh, played a lot stronger than last night's game. It felt like they kind of got out of it early last night and just never had the motivation to get back in it. But now today, they were in it early, and uh, they're still kind of in it now. It's only a three-goal deficit, and they could certainly make that up. Yeah, Sam Haynes in goal for Arkansas, has nine saves so far, just the one goal given up. And on the other side, we have Mitch Miles, who has given up four goals, 23 saves. Arkansas, 27 to 10 on the shots in that second period. It was 14 to four on shots. So Arkansas out shooting the Jayhawks by 10 shots in that period. And I think that's probably the key here as well. Keep peppering Miles with shots. See if you can get a few more goals. And for Kansas, got to do the same. Got to put shots up. They, they do have the one goal that they scored from the corner, kind of a fluky goal, but they've had much better chances than that, just unable to get uh, anything else past Sam Haynes. I do see Jack Gerber over on the bench in a hoodie. He is uh, generally on that right ankle, but he is walking around under his own power. Going to be sore for a few days, absolutely. But good to see him back on the bench. As Arkansas wins the opening faceoff of the period, dumps it in, that's Wilson after it. Now into the corner comes Max Brown. Arkansas with 20 minutes to go on their home season. Quick shot there is saved. There's a Strata shot smothered there by Miles. 19.48 to go, third period. Just 12 seconds gone. Arkansas starting quick again, getting the puck into the offensive zone, a quick shot. Miles has done a good job on rebound control tonight. The third period was KU's best period last night in terms of goals conceded. Only two for Arkansas in the third last night. Today it was their first period so far. It's been their best period of the weekend. Drawing even with Arkansas. Sugaswara down low, tough angle shot, rebound to the near side. McAtee not able to finish it off. Near side boards, PK battling with McAtee. Going towards the blue line, Arkansas on the puck, gets it stolen away as Dusso sends it to center ice. Just kneeing that one down as Deskier comes all the way down, and that's going to be an icing. 19-21 to go, third period. Chevelis was just offside on that one. Otherwise, he would have been able to touch the puck and take it for a breakaway, really. He was back behind all of Arkansas's defense, but shorter neutral zone here at the Jones Center, and after the majority of two games, still not quite used to it. Leads to an offside there. Arkansas can attribute some success to that, being used to this shorter ice. I don't know if it's easier to adjust to bigger ice for teams who are used to shorter ice or the other way around, but it seems like some teams get caught off guard by that abbreviated neutral zone. Quick shot there is blocked down. Do so back to the near side boards. Ellis throws one towards net and wide. Far side now, chipped out of the zone there by Medina. It comes all the way down, and that's another icing. There was a little bit of this last night as well. KU, it felt like in the third period, was tired. They did a good job on the defensive end, only conceding two goals late to the Hogs. But there was a lot of just throwing it down the ice and giving themselves breathers whenever they can and started early here in the third, not even a minute gone. Base off to the left of Miles. Arkansas skating from your left to right on the screen in the white jerseys with the Cardinal trim. And the Jayhawks in the royal blue jerseys with the red trim and the white trim as well. On it now. Near side, that was Yance to Odeline in front. Quick shot save there by Miles. Into the corner, Dusso. Dusso off the boards. Bank pass comes to the near side now and into the zone comes Chevelis. Chevelis trying to work his way past Odeline. Gives Odeline a little check in the back there. Sent to the far side. KU trying to up some of the pressure. Down three goals in this game, sent down for an icing by McLean. Nice possession there from Kansas. Able to get deep into the Arkansas zone. Put some pressure on and McLean was forced to ice it as he was looking for a difficult bank pass. Ellis. That's where the face-offs come into play. Ellis to take the face-off. It's one back to the point. Williams' shot is blocked down there by Cruz. Cruz, one of the better defensive forwards for Arkansas. Also 
Shown an offensive prowess as well this year. Whiffing on the shot there. Back the other way. Jackson Reed not able to get good wood on it. Now Cruz on and on his backhand. Power move to the net. Backhand pass in front. Shot backhanded wide by McLean. To the point. O to line. Not able to hold the line. Comes to the near side now. On it is Yance to McLean to Yance. Yance breaks into the zone. Head of steam. Slashed off the puck there into the corner. Comes back out to the center. Adler after it. Arkansas able to hold. At the blue line again, Williams bank pass towards Adler. Yance, nice stick handling move through traffic. Back pedals his way, finds Patterson near side. Tough angled shot, can't handle it there is Miles. But Arkansas gets another shot opportunity there from Borlas. Adler banked off the boards. Borlas runs a man over. That was Reed. That one comes up and out of play. Reed and Borlas have a brief conversation. Two minutes, 35 seconds gone. Seventeen twenty-five to go. In the third period. Romero, near side Rees. Rees lost control of it and lost sight of it. And after it, there's Chevelis. Arkansas on the puck. To Rees. To Romero, to Patterson. Back to center ice now. Arkansas breaks out Rees. Across the red line into the offensive zone. High circle. Throws a shot blocked down again by Cole Walsh. Walsh is going to have some bruises on his body after this game as he has uh, found the puck a few times and he doubles over there after another blocked shot. Borlas tried to load up from the blue line. That one got deflected up and out of play. Reese a few moments before that could have had an open shot from the same spot, but Decided to bring it in and ended up losing it. Face off one back to Walsh. Hard around the boards, far side. Trying to settle that one down is Medina. Medina sends it down the ice. That one's going to check up to the line. Yance on it. Sorry. That's Elliott to Rees near side now. Tipped out of the zone there by Valentini. Into the zone now. Picked up here by Brown. He'll just send it back to his goaltender and shield off the charging Valentini. 16.40 to go. Third period of action. Been a good weekend for the Hogs, and they'll be heading into the Maka tournament here in a couple weekends. Might that'll, even see this KU team again. That'll be the first appearance for Arkansas in the Maka. Joined last year, but Maka play was suspended officially. Arkansas did get to get a taste of some of the teams they would be playing going forward last year. This one comes down for an icing. You got a taste of DBU, ETBU, some of those teams that they felt like they would see a lot more of. And Arkansas yep. really, uh, really was up to the task last season. And even though uh, you know there weren't as many teams in action, Arkansas really proved themselves on the national stage. Based off one back share to the point, McAtee fakes a slap shot, freezes his man, but McAtee stood up at the blue line, leaves it for share, shot in front, hits the bum of Valentini, comes all the way back out to the corner. Far side corner behind the cage, now Valentini. Valentini stick handling there, centering pass, can't find Elliott. After it, now's to Skier. He loses control of it, banks it off the boards, now Valentini. Arkansas checked up what they thought was an offside. Everybody back to the blue line for a moment. That was awkward. As McAtee can't hold his man up. After it, now is Adler, and a nice diving play by to Skier. And the two-way defenseman able to make something happen. Dives back on defense. Had a rough start to this game going to the box early after a crushing charge on a KU player. Into the zone, so Gets knocked away there by Elliott, and he'll go for a change. Arkansas, full change here. KU on the puck behind their own cage. 15.36 to go, third period. Far side of the ice, Chevelis. Chip pass ahead, missed the stick of Reed. Arkansas on it again. McAtee, 15.27 to go, third. McAtee, long outlet pass, tip pass in. They tried to run this play yesterday. Drop pass now, Estrada. Estrada to Wilson, below the goal line. Centering pass blocked down nicely in front by Reed. Another centering pass, Romero's shots blocked down. Sorry, Estrada's shots blocked down. Back to the point now, McAtee. McAtee chipped down into the corner. Banks off the boards. It's picked up there in the corner by Medina. Medina, hard around the boards, trying to get out of the zone. Can't quite do so. Do so. On the puck again, sends it down for an ice. Kansas unable to regi register a shot so far in this period. 
Arkansas has put up five so far. Lead 32 to 10 overall in the category. Wilson to take the face off. Chevelis comes away with it though. Sends it to the far side. Picked up there by Reed. Reed shoved off the puck there. Arkansas on it and they're gonna be offside. Estrada couldn't get back in time. 14.46 to go, third period of action. And this is our last home game of the season. There is a senior night coming up against Oklahoma State. We might be in the building for that one. Have not uh, made our plans official as a late addition to the schedule was this Oklahoma State weekend. Uh, hopefully we'll be able to bring that broadcast to you for those uh, two games at the beginning of March. It should be after the Maka tournament, a warm up for the national tournament. Maybe keep the legs fresh for Arkansas. Definitely don't want to get anybody injured though. Back post pass, Sugasawara shots shut down by Miles. To Wilson, low circle, backhanded opportunity saved there by Miles as well. Miles has been good today. We weren't sure what to expect out of him. An 11 goal concession last night. You always wonder if it's the defense in front of you or if it's the effort from the goaltender. And I think after he got out of hand early, maybe he was taking it easy to rest those legs for today. And there we see a couple back-to-back -back saves by Miles. Trying to keep this game as close as, as it is. Face off one ahead now. Here comes KU into the zone. Yance able to make a play on it there. Right, a hopping move around. Medina, he's down in the zone. Hasn't quite gotten back to his skates. Yance on the puck. Medina slowly skating back now. Arkansas five on four in the offensive zone. Medina going straight for the bench. Opts to stay on the ice. Near side now is Morgan. Connor Morgan gets loaded up there. Arkansas trying to apply some pressure. Cruz on the ice along with Odeline. That one's batted to the far side now. On it, Yance. Yance back in near side Odeline. Arkansas on the puck. Ellis avoids the stick check. Comes to the far side. Now Ellis. Sorry, Cruz on the puck. That's a hand pass, but no call. Cruz dumps it into the zone. Arkansas got away with a hand pass for this offensive possession. Might be something to remember. Cruz on the puck. It's finally cleared out of the zone. And back the other way comes Chevelis. Chevelis gets tripped up on the play. Don't see a hand up in the air. And going down is McLean. Cruz just wants to regain control. Ops for his own zone. Sends one towards the blue line. Out of the zone. Picked up here by Walsh. Walsh bank past Chevelis. Chevelis across the red line. Far side. Has Williams. Williams not able to corral that puck. Now on it's to Skier. To Rees. Rees bank pass off the corner. It's Olaid there by Deskier who goes tumbling to the ice. Chevelle is trying to wrestle his stick free. On it against Rees. Rees settles it down. Far side now Cruz. Cruz on the puck looking on the breakout. Arkansas really wants a change here. Lifted high into the air. so settles that one down. Chevelle on the near side. Chevelle up the ice slapping at it. There's PK. Arkansas able to clear it all the way down again. And that's going to go for an icing. And a tired Arkansas line has to stay on the ice. Yeah, good opportunity for Kansas. Get some fresh legs out there. We saw Medina go down hard in the corner and skated gingerly back. We thought he was heading to the bench, but stayed on the ice. Good news for a Kansas team that already has a short bench and has already lost uh, Jack Gerber for the afternoon as well. That was a crushing blow after a stellar first period from KU where they found their way uh, on the scoreboard and kept Arkansas off it for the most part. It seemed like we were going to have ourselves a Pretty good game, but Pyrrhic victory after that great period. McLean loses control of his stick. Centering pass, comes to Rees off the post. Oh my goodness, hit the low side of the post. Looked like it hit just on the inside of the post and almost found its way in the back of the net. Patterson stick handling in a phone booth, finds his man far side. Outlet pass, hits Rees to Patterson. Patterson into the zone, high circle. Stick handling move around one, shut down though by Duso. Motor on the retreat to McAtee. McAtee has Motor far side. McAtee instead opts to regroup. Under 12 to play, third period. Arkansas with a three goal lead. Lazy bank pass to the near side. Borlas still needs to get off the ice. Borlas on the ice with Patterson and Motor. On the ice now is Yachts. McAtee all the way down himself off the side of the net. Back to the point. McAtee on it. A couple of guys. Tapping sticks as the net is off its moorings. Had been for a while. There was some chanting going down on that end. Adler in the face of McAtee. McAtee. Not 
somebody I think you want to mess with. I don't know much about Alex Adler, but I do know a lot about Cam McAtee. Chevalis in his face as well. Linesman splitting him up. Must have been some friendly conversation to warrant the linesman allowing them to continue. McAtee will definitely get in your face. He's not afraid. Never seen him back down from those situations. Patterson to take the face off against Chevelis. One back here, Borlas to McAtee. McAtee throws one towards net. Chevelis lost it in his skates. Borlas on it again. I guess Borlas is just on his shift right now. <laughs> Feels like he's been out there forever. Motor, Patterson, and Borlas on the ice. Yance out there along with McAtee currently. As the skier is currently on the bench. Near side board, skating out of the zone. This is McAtee, offensive zone, centering pass. Drop pass there by Motor gets leveled. Coming across the ice to lay that hit on is Luke Hansen. Who else would it be? PK into the zone. Now McAtee after it in the corner. Banks went along, 10.57 to go here in this game. Should the score hold? Patel trying to get a result out of this game. McAtee, far side, has Motor. Motor. Can't find his man, Borlas, skating up the ice. He's going to be the first one to it. They wave off the icing, a good call. Borlas takes a hard shove into the board. On the puck now is Walsh. Walsh, a stopping move. He gets tripped up there by Borlas. The referee talking to the KU bench. Did not see that one, and his body's clashing around everywhere out there. Finally, Duso comes away with it. Duso, spinorama. It's turned around there by an Arkansas player. McAtee bats it out of the air. McAtee after the puck, and that one does touch netting. But the wrong kind, 10-18 to go in the third. McAtee and Adler still at it. And the referee is going to come in and break that up. Kansas still with no shots here in the third period. Arkansas with seven. And McAtee is going to go to the bench. Probably a good idea to keep Arkansas out of the penalty box as he was getting a little chirpy with his Kansas team. Sims having a conversation with him now. Odeline is on the ice with Deskier right now. I don't know what change was made, whether they moved Odeline up with Deskier or McAtee or Yance up with McAtee. But they've broken up those two. Sometimes it's just a Coaching field thing, quick shot on net there by Lotz after the ensuing faceoff. 10-12 to go, third period. Again, fans, one more time, do want to appreciate all of the uh, donations we've gotten so far this year. Every penny does help uh, fund this broadcast and keep us coming back. Uh, we'll be in our seventh year, I believe, next year, and we hope to continue doing this for at least the foreseeable future. Share to take the face off to the left. This one's one back. It's going to be picked up here by Morgan. Morgan, far side of the ice. It's chipped along there by PK. PK works his way past a man, but Lotz is able to settle it down. Odeline on the puck now for Arkansas. Has Lotz out the far side, sends it to Valentini instead. Chips a pass ahead. Scherer after it. He's going to bowl his way through tra traffic. Chevelis off the boards. Lotz settles it down for Arkansas. Sent back to center ice by Odeline. Lotz trying to regain his composure as a big hit was laid on by Valentini, and he's going to find himself in the penalty box. I don't know if I agree with that one, but. Uh, he's calling boarding, I believe. He gave yeah. a, one of these symbols. Yeah, the Kansas player had the puck, and Valentini shoved him down and went crashing into the boards. To me, that's a clean check, but trying to keep these players safe. So instead, it'll be a power play for the Jayhawks. Valentini getting an ex explanation from the referee. Coach Falls in Valentini's ear here. The other Valentini, the elder Valentini. Behind the net now, Medina on the puck. A little bit of a power play, two minutes. Outlet pass comes back to the point. Do so, fans on it. To Sugasawara. Sugasawara two on two into the zone with Wilson. It's a stick handling move, tries to undress a defender. Good job shutting him down by Brown. Far side. 
Wilson just wants to work it back. Nice smart play here. McAtee and Deskier back out on the ice together. Deskier comes off now for Yachts. A little bit of shuffling the lines here by the Arkansas Razorbacks. Bank pass down the ice again. 1.15 to go on the penalty. Wheeled back along far side. Chevelis, stopping move in the corner, and here comes Chevelis. Out to neutralize Chevelis across the red line into the offensive zone. Backhand, forehand, back to his backhand on the low curling dot. Fires a shot and scores. What a shot by Chevelis. Put it on the highlight reel. It's 4 to 2 for Arkansas, but a nice play by Kansas. Now it'll go down as a power play goal, and Kansas cuts into this Arkansas lead. Go back and take a look at that again. Chevelis himself. Nice move there, pulls it to the forehand and just beats him, stick side high. Nice goal there for Kansas. Just like that, it's a two goal game. A little bit of Britney Spears playing. And, and that was Kansas's first shot <laughs> of the third period. One shot, And it one was a goal. good one. Yeah, absolutely, picked a corner. Nothing you can do if you're Sam Haynes there. Haven't had to say Sam's name too much tonight, which is often a good thing. Odeline gets stood up at center ice by Hanson. Behind the goal line, Walsh. Walsh, outlet pass is broken up, and now Yance is on it. Yance, head fake, has McLean. McLean throws a shot towards Nets, blocked down by Walsh. Yance, that one hit him in the wrist, it looked like. He tried to shake that one off. On it now is Ellis. Ellis loads up a tough shot, and Walsh gets in the way of that one. This poor guy, he's bruised and battered. <laughs> It's going to be a long car ride home for poor Cole Walsh. Seven or eight block shots in this game. That's what you like to see on the Corsi and Fenwick stats. Back the other way. Going to be picked up here by PK in his own zone. He gets stopped up there by Cruz. He made a hard checking move into the boards. Chevelis tries to stand him up. McLean in front, throws one through the five hole and finds its way to the back of the net. And going to celebrate is Trevor McLean. He went right in front of the Kansas bench to celebrate, just as Kansas did on this end. The referee is upset about something. He may give out a penalty here. Now Trevor McLean. Take a, little a look bit. at that goal. Kicks it to a stick to the backhand. Unbelievable. I love that play where you kick it, cross over a little bit. The stick undresses a guy. And just beats him backhand. What a goal. Nice job there as that one takes an awkward bounce off the boards. Arkansas in the ensuing possession here trying to break out of their own zone. Near side boards, Borla's tied up there and Patterson comes away with it. Patterson has really had a jump in his step lately. We talk about it about you know, the last five or six games, but Patterson's really found his stride as Motor undresses a defender. Back to the point, Reeves just throws it towards net, tipped wide by a defender. Near side now, picked up by Chevelis. Chevelis gets hooked off the puck, no call. Far side now, banked along the boards. Medina plays it back to center ice, and it's going to be picked up here by Motor. Motor has a man near side. That's Romero. Romero settles the puck down. Seven minutes to go in this game. Five to two, Arkansas answered quickly after the quick goal. Into the zone, trying to load one up as Medina. Nice save by Haynes. Shuts down the opportunity, outlet pass, finds Romero back to Patterson. Patterson, Borlas and Romero up on the play. Quick shot there, saved down by Miles. Mitch Miles making a few saves here in this third period as they gather again for a quick conference behind the net. Duke, Kansas, and Arkansas. Six, both, go ahead. Both goaltenders showcasing their skills there. Sam Haynes making a save down on our left side before Arkansas brings it back the other way. And Mitch Miles able to make that save. Miles doing a great job of angle control today. He's had a couple slip through. Five goals on the board for Arkansas. Not all of them Miles' fault. Looks like a timeout here for Kansas. Well, it's been a good season here at the Jones Center. Talk about it a lot, I know, but it's always fun 
getting to come out and do these games every single year. And Arkansas has really put on a show again this year. We only saw one loss here at the Jones Center. The other two losses on the road. So an excellent record for these Razorbacks here. They're proving this weekend why they're so dominant at home. Yeah, it's a tough place to play and, and come in and win as an opposing team. But we got a Saturday game and we got a packed house, so uh, the crowd always makes it tough, and Arkansas just plays well on their home ice. Uh, maybe it's being used to the sides of the ice, and uh, maybe it's just the lack of travel. Uh, you know, they're comfortable in this building, really always have been, and, uh, you know, they play well here and play well on the road as well, uh, which will serve them well as we have the Maka tournament coming up, as well as the national tournament. Arkansas hopes to make an appearance there. And the national Try to match their deep run they had last season. National tournament in March. Now the Maka tournament in St. Louis. Share to take the face off to the right of the goaltender of record tonight, Mitch Miles. Mitch has four penalty minutes of his own this year. So we saw Reese take some last night as a goaltender. Don't see it often, but an interference call on him. The skier fires a shot through traffic down into the corner, picked up there by Valentini. Valentini on the puck, has a man out front, offs for the bank pass to the point, McAtee. McAtee, high slot now, sends one across, finds Deskier. Deskier has a tough time settling that one down, shot saved aside by Miles. Near side now, out the other way is Duso. He'll send one into the air and down the ice, chasing after it there is Medina. Medina in the hip pocket of McAtee who takes it ahead himself. Stopping move past PK, has to absorb a hit on his own bench into the half boards. Arkansas finds the puck, comes to the near side, now Elliott. Elliott, far side. That's going to be Cher. Cher across center ice, gets it taken off of his stick, and back the other way comes Arkansas. Dumped into the zone, takes an awkward bounce off a of stanchion towards the net. It's cleared aside by Dussault. Hold a line. Chip back into the zone. Williams on the puck now. Williams gets run at there by Valentini. He's going to get Chippy in the corner. Williams still on it, though. Nice job shielding his man off the puck. Now Dussel. Dussel outlet pass hits his man, but Walsh, or sorry, Chevelle is not able to find the outlet pass to Adler. Adler staring down his uh, nemesis of the game. That's McAtee, and he turns it over. This is going to be Adler out front. Nice job with the stick by Haynes. Just gets the paddle out there and breaks up the play on his own accord. Backpedaling now is Morgan. D to D pass near side. Settling it down is Walsh. Walsh has Sugasawara pressuring him. Far side now. Trying to pressure the puck. R. Arkansas. Nice head of steam here by Yance. Yance has a drop pass if he wants it. Finds Sugasawara. Tough time handling it. Sugasawara stands his man up. Down into the corner now Estrada. Estrada looking for the centering pass. Has Sugasawara at the point. Off to skate it himself. Off the boards to himself, far side now, up on an edge, the puck comes back to the point. Odeline, tough pass across, finds Yance. Yance right on the tape to the skate of Odeline. Far side corner now, Estrada. Stick lift, finds his man, that's Wilson. And now Estrada shot off the side of the net. Rebound there, pass out front. Sugasawara can't find it, and Miles comes diving after it, and he wallers over to make the save. 4.29 to go. Good puck movement from Arkansas. Unable to get a shot away on that possession, trying to get it out front. It went through the crease a couple times, but unable to get it towards the net. And Miles jumps on that one before he sees anything bad happen. Face off to the right of Miles. Ellis to take it. One of the sideboards chipped ahead there by Adler. Arkansas holds the line. Yance down low and a big hit laid on. Arkansas on the puck, McLean chips it along the boards, trying to get to his feet on the far sides. Ellis still, he does. Dusso and Chevelis in the corner. Scrum for the puck, Arkansas steals it away. This is Ellis, out front, his shot's whipped high. Boy, he has such a powerful shot. He's just got to get the height on it. Correct. On it is Yance. And there's going to be a delayed penalty here. Yeah, it's going to be on Ellis. He took a run at a guy, hit him up high. Could be an elbowing, could be a roughing. But either way, Kansas will go on the power play. And a rough is the call. Yeah, let's try to finish the play. Just runs right through a man. Can't do that in Arkansas. 
on the penalty kill again. I think that's something they got to clean up this weekend. A Law and Order theme song playing. <laughs> Classic. Face off to the left of Haynes. Cruz wins this one back in the Oda line. Sends it all the way towards an empty net. Didn't even see the net was empty. Do so on the puck. So Arkansas is going to have some opportunities in an empty net, and they've got the best guy for it on the ice. And Dylan Odeline, he can just whip the puck down there at will. So I don't know if they know who they're dealing with there. Into the zones, do so. Do so. Six on four right now. Centering pass out front, batted aside. Near side now. Picked up by Chevellis. Back to the point, laid off there. Near side now from Brown to Chevellis. Chevellis to Brown. Brown at the blue line. Cruz trying to shut down the play, goes to the far side and misses a stick. Odeline chops one up and out of play. The net does a good job of catching. 3.18 to go. So an empty net for Kansas. A man in the penalty box for Arkansas. Six on four for the Jayhawks. And I never really liked this play where you pull the goalie on the power play since the other team can ice it at will without risk of an icing call. Free, free shots from 120 feet. As there's Valentini, he chips it away. Valentini after the puck. Dusso coming after it. Stick cliff, but Dusso does a good job clearing it aside. Valentini looking to whip one to the empty net. A selfless play. Nice diving stop in front there by Brown. And Scherer is not able to finish it off. McAtee whips one towards net. Glove down again by Brown. 2.55 to go. Near side boards. Williams collects the puck. Arkansas. It's the freest goal. <laughs> you get excited when you see an empty net, I'm sure. I've never played hockey, I wouldn't know. But I've played enough soccer and have missed enough open nets to know as McAtee skates this one in, and it's the first time I've ever seen him whip on a shot like that. Chevellis on. Chevellis up the ice, near side now into the offensive zone. Another head fake into the corner. Chevellis back to the point. Has a man there, that's Walsh. Walsh, far side. Laid off into the corner now. Adler, centering pass out front, had a man waiting in front. That was Reed, another shot, whipped wide, picked up here. Back post, Medina. Medina trying to shove it home. Can't find a man, has a man on the back post, sends it across six seconds to go on the penalty. Sent near side now, Walsh. Walsh, as Chevellis throws one through traffic. And it's tipped high by an Arkansas defender. Trying to shove it home there is Medina, but a good job there by Haynes. And Medina with a little shoving after the play. And Cher stands him up. Well, Kansas has picked two guys on the ice, and they've picked the two largest guys on Arkansas's team, minus Dylan Oline. And I mean, Jake Cher is not a guy to mess with for sure. Six foot three. And Deskier getting tied up with Chevellis, but that's a strategy. You walk in, you pick a fight with the biggest guy, and uh, Medina is getting sent off the ice for the rest of the game. Yeah, it's tough. A little bit of frustration, I think. Kansas came in, really played hard all game long, and. Just unable to keep pace with the scoring of Arkansas. Still a little bit of time left, but three goal deficit with just under two minutes to play will be a tough one to overcome for the Jayhawks, but not for lack of trying. Looks like they're still gonna keep that empty net. It'll be a six on five for Kansas, a face off in front of Sam Haynes, the Arkansas goaltender. After ejecting a KU player, you'd think that the faceoff would at least come out of the zone. So I think that's some of the discussion going on here. Chip Excel over there having a discussion. That's uh, Coach Sims talking to him. Sims giving him the thumbs up. Chairs going to the box for a misconduct as well. Yeah, we'll look at that last little scrum where Medina's getting in there. Dean is sent off the ice. He got the first initial check after the play was over. Yeah, Cher, or that was McAtee. Just comes in right here. Just kind of shows Medina out of the way. Medina pushing McAtee. Cher gets a shot in. Deskier gets a shot in. Well. And Medina just not taking it. And okay, you've got to have somebody serve a penalty as well. Coincidental minors, Medina sent off the ice for the rest of this one. A minute 55 to go. Going to the box is going to be Adler. Adler has been in the face of a couple of guys tonight, and so he'll sit the rest of this game out as well. No way out for either of those two guys, and 
Back and goal will go Mitch Miles, and I think that's a concession on Kansas's part. Looks like we'll have four on four. They're going to call it five on five still. Oh, nope, somebody does go to the bench. They will do four on four. Good call, Corey. Hey, I get one right every once in a while. Well, even a blind squirrel is right twice a day. Romero on I the hear. puck. Outlet pass, looking for his man. It's going to be sent to the near side. Wilson trips over the puck or the red line. Hard to say. The Jones Center ice, not the kindest. This one's chipped up into the air. Settled down. Wilson wheels a shot. Not able to get it on target. Now Chevellis, far side, looking for the outlet pass. Has a man up the ice. That's Luke Hansen waiting on it, but Chevellis takes it himself. Four on four action as the players collide there at the blue line. Another shot blocked down. Nice save by Haynes. That thing was. Hustling along towards the net. Near side boards. Wilson settles it down with no pressure. No empty net anymore. They had it empty there for a second. Miles back on the ice as Suga Sawara's shot goes off the side of the net. 1-11 to go. Comes to the near side. Moving it back around, and that's going to be a delayed penalty there on Williams. Slashing the stick out of the hands of the captain, Zach Wilson. Well, Zach Wilson, you're going to get at least one more year out of him. Junior from Baldwin, Missouri. Been a perennial leader for this team, and if you look at some of the stats, which will be more readily available going forward, Zach Wilson's one of the best per game players that Arkansas has ever had. Does it all, passes the puck, has a great score on either wing in Estrada and Sugasawara. Really manages the game well out there. McAtee on the puck, has Estrada, Estrada and a four on three here. Down low, 56 seconds to go in this game. Shots blocked down, Chevellis on it, gets it sticked off of him. Wilson, back post, has Estrada who finishes it off. And Arkansas takes the six to two lead. Game, set, match. Take another look at that one. Estrada had it poked off of his stick. Wilson regains control of it, finds Estrada on the backside. Good defensive play in front, but Chevalis tried to take it out himself. And not much Miles could do about that. You see full extension trying to get across the ice, but a little bit late getting there on the great pass from Wilson. And Estrada continues to score this week in a hat trick last night. Puts up another one today. Face up, one back here. So that will expire the Williams penalty. Forty-one seconds left in this game. Six to two, Arkansas leads. Despite what the scoreboard says, I think the operator trying to get everything right. Kind of a confusing ending to this one. Hey, my scoreboard's right. Congratulations. Thank you. To producer Corey for. Patting himself on the back. 41 seconds to go in this one. Six to two. This one sent back to, towards center ice. Settled down here. Little tic-tac passing. Brown at the point. Fires a shot through traffic. Tipped aside. Another rebound comes all the way out front. Trickled over the stick of Chevellis. Back the other way. Four on one. A flurry of hogs the other way. Tic-tac passing Estrada. Back post pass. Has a man saved off the goal line. A nice save by Miles. Comes all the way back to the point. McAtee, 17 seconds to go. Chevellis pressuring the play now. Deskier has McAtee. McAtee at the point. Stick handling, leaves one here. This is Ellis. Nine seconds to go. Chevellis on it now. Chevellis a two on one the other way. Has a man with him, that's PK. PK, one of the goal scorers, sees that one go up and out of play. And with .7 on the clock, they might just wind it out. And they do. Arkansas takes it six to two. A hard fought effort from the Kansas Jayhawks tonight, and you gotta be impressed with their performance with the short bench. I wanna take one quick look at that last four on one. Nice passing and an excellent save. Right off the goal line. And that, that'll do it for us as uh, Arkansas comes away with a two win weekend, 11 to two last night. A little bit closer of a game today, five to two. Good fight from Kansas as they made the travel to sunny Northwest Arkansas <laughs> with a short bench.
lost some players as well today with Medina going out late and Gerber going out earlier with an injury. Uh, but they fought hard till the end. Uh, five to two game, pulled the goaltender and had a six on four at one point and really putting the pressure on Arkansas, forcing them to play hard to that final buzzer. Uh, good heart from Kansas, but this one is all Arkansas. Uh, 42 to 14 on the shots. Really just tells the story of this game. Uh, Arkansas really took it to the Jayhawks and uh, that's it. I mean, that's, that's the story right there. Arkansas, they're ranked number three in the ACHA. Really are the better team, but a lot of fight out of Kansas here today. And Arkansas has a lot to look forward to with postseason play looming. Well, they'll salute the crowd and we'll salute our fans here watching on YouTube. Thank you so much for watching this season. A home slate for Arkansas. Arkansas able to finish it off with only one loss here at the Jones Center. And overall, they'll finish their campaign at 24 and 3 going into the MACA tournament. Meanwhile, the Kansas Jayhawks have some regrouping to do, 2 and 17 on the season. Uh, not, not their best performance this weekend, but a good showing here today. I think uh, some promising things to take away here for their, their coaches and uh, things to look at on tape as well. Anyways, that's going to wrap it up for us here at the Jones Center. Your final score, Arkansas 6, Kansas 2 for Matt Martins and Corey Porter. My name's E.J. Sanders. So long.